Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. Star Radio on my mind. So won't you kick your feet up if you have a minute? Turn your radio dial to the Texas ticket. Welcome to the Texas ticket. This is Armando, and I'm with Sherry Pot. What's up? Oh, you know, you know, the Texas ticket. That's what's up. <laughs> Yeah, every Friday at 1 o'clock right here on yes. Lone Star Community Radio. You can catch us here, and you can follow us on YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow below, all that stuff. Buy our merch. Buy uh, our merch. Wait, we got merch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really pricey, fun. though. It's real pricey. Like, like all them interns we have. <laughs> oh, well, they're, they're doing their best. And they put together quite a show for us today. We've got... Uh, uh, 369 Global Wellness. Yes. Um, uh, we talked uh, about them last week. That's right. The Shaman's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. very excited here. About I am too. They've got a lot of vits coming up. They bought that old Serenity place. Yeah. It used to be Serenity Wedding Venue or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. But not a, anyway, they, they, they do spiritual body, wellness, wellness. health, <laughs> karate. I don't know. We're going to find out in a minute. Yeah. But we also have Kate Watson, and she's got a new album coming out, that Red-Blooded American album. She's going to be singing that Looking for Rain song, and I want to hear... It's going to be released this week. It is going to be released this week. It's not even out yet, so you can catch it first right here. I catch it Friday. Um, uh, we'll, I guess the show Sh- airs. We'll let her tell us what it is. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't <laughs> really know. And, and um, we're going to go over the Punch Your Texas Ticket segment at the end of the show. And, uh, and you know, we do it every show, mm-hmm. but today, at the end of the show, we've got some real surprises. We've got some stuff. Do I found some things. I did. It's been a surprise to me, so good. I, I, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? So, um, But that's here in Montgomery County in the area, and the Punch Text segment is usually about trying to find things that I guess are close enough we want to go to. Well, and, yeah, local stuff. And they might make you a little more Texan if you went. <laughs> is you there know. such a thing well, in Conroe, yeah. Texas? Oh, yeah. I mean, I could tell you a couple of foods you could eat in Conroe, Texas to make you more Texan. make you more Texan? Mm-hmm. Okay. We need to have Vicky back in again. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, can you spell barbacoa? <laughs> yes, I can, actually. There you go. See, there's <laughs> one right there. You're a little more Texan. <laughs> Well, let's okay. get this show started. Let's yeah. let's get things going. And uh, with us today, Kate Watson and her, and and our father, Mr. Oh, Watson, welcome. Well, I, I, Jesse, Jesse, <laughs> Mr. Father, Je- Jesse, <laughs> father. Mr. Father, Jesse, Father, well, Jesse. Well, if we did Father Jesse, well, you'd be preaching over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just music. Just music. Okay. Oh well, I'm glad you guys made it, and yeah. gals, and 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 I've seen so much cool stuff online right now. Thank you. And uh, you've got a new album coming out, Red Blood American. I do. Drop in September 6th. And we've heard Red Blood American, and uh, I've heard a few other songs, but I've, I have no clue what to expect from Looking for Rain. I'm excited you you brought it to us. And you've got a lot of shows coming up. Uh, uh, you, are you putting the new music on blast out there? In oh, the shows? absolutely. We're blasting stuff? everything. Okay. Everything in the dang book. And, and you've got, you, you've got um, how many songs are on the album? album? I mean, I know it's not an actual album. I mean, It's eight songs eight on this songs. album, okay. and it's my very first one, like first album to put out there. I've only done singles before this, and uh, I wanted a way to get like a lot of music out there, um, but not like waste it, you know, like do something meaningful with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just give everybody a piece of what I got going on and – what I'm working on because we already got new stuff in the mix that you know we're already working on album number two uh while this one's dropping so this is just for everybody of you know they've been listening to my shows and stuff for like two years or whatever and they've heard all these songs and they're like when do we get to have it on all the platforms you know so we can learn the words and sing it with you (laughs) so I'm like yes here you go this is for you guys (laughs) (laughs) they started making up their own words to some of my songs (laughs) I don't see any Kate Kate Watson in this karaoke book you know but now (laughs) after the six where's that where's that yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it was there, I'd sing. But if not, I'm out. Oh I'm, out. I'm out. I'm out. 
You know, <laughs> that's a good out. For, <laughs> they keep trying to make me go up there and sing. I don't think anybody tries to make you go. Sing. Once, no. that was it. Yeah, after that, they never tried. Is there a video of this? Can we I've see it somewhere? It. No. <laughs> yeah, immediately, immediately. I really thought it was going to go there, but you know, it felt good. <laughs> I felt like a rock star. So, are you doing like an album drop party? I am. Uh, September sixth, we're all meeting at Sweet. Table at Maidley, um, in Conroe. And so we're going to have a blast just with different things. Like um, you can get some new merch that we'll be when, showcasing there. When is this? September 6th. September 6th? Yes. Um, <clears throat> table at Maylie. Yes. And we're going to be giving like a little pre album, mm-hmm. like preview as well. Like, hey guys, this is what we got going on. These are the songs. You get to hear it live. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to try to have some different booths there mm-hmm. of different things and just make it a, a blast. What yeah. time does that start? Yeah. Uh, Night time. <laughs> <laughs> In the I'll, middle of the day. <laughs> um, probably somewhere around. I can last Frank. <laughs> yeah, that's a better idea. Okay. It's going to be in the night time. Yeah. It's a certain time of the, the day afternoon. that we'll be there. Afternoon afternoon time. Yeah. yeah. You gotta make it plural. You know, but when you the street lights come on. <laughs> you yeah. the singers, don't, they aren't alive before 12 noon. That's, that's true. true. So. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, and so... Uh, <laughs> I uh, you opened for someone, or then you played someone with someone just oh, recently. Gonna open or you're gonna me. open as well. You were also at the uh, biggest Texas Fest. Yes, yeah. tell us about some of these experiences. That I led saw you. Oh my gosh! From then to now, from from biggest Texas to now, just some brief <sighs> highlight reel. What's oh got? dear lord. Okay, let's see. Let's recap. Um, so biggest Texas, y'all. That was so exciting. Mm-hmm. Like getting to be there with Dirk Bentley, Billy Strings, uh, Corey Kent. Uh, Alana Springsteen, Thomas Rhett, like everybody there. They were just so sweet. Maddie and Tay. Maddie and Tay, um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I got to go up. Uh, not only was I per- a performer for Sunday, um, I also got to be the reporter as well. Mm. And so I got to go on stage, like backstage, and like wait and like talk to these people and like really just get like a, a chance to know them for a second. And I have an interview with Corey Kent up on my socials. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was so sweet and his wife was so sweet. And I mean, just amazing show. Like, Is that on your YouTube channel? Yes, that's on What's everything. That How do I find your YouTube channel? It's Watch Kate that. Watson Music. Okay. And uh, yeah, super easy. My name, add music to it, and you got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay. So I got to do all that. And I mean, I was so nervous because... Performing, like, sure. Like, that's easy peasy, you know. Um, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, that's that's what yeah. comes easy to yeah. me. But whenever it comes to, like, talking and, like, like what you guys do, like, that's <laughs> hard. That is so hard. And, I mean, I was in there freaking out, like, just shaking. My head. Okay, here they come. All right. Okay, hello. You know, <laughs> like, turning it on. Here we go. <laughs> and I freaked someone out, actually. I'm not going to say their name. Um, I didn't get to interview them because they're managers and stuff. They were like, no, no, like, you can take a picture but that's it and I'm like okay so I went up to him and I was like oh you're from South Carolina and they're like how do you know that and I'm like it's fine just ignore it and I just take a picture a with me before we got here well, <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much right that's what you gotta do yeah. you gotta stalk people uh, the that's health that's mild stalking yeah, yeah. yeah. mild <laughs> <laughs> but um the when it comes to the performance um it was the coolest thing ever uh it was sad for anybody that went before me because they got rained out on Sunday. Yeah. So I was the first person to get on that stage and play. And like, I mean. Not rain. Well, it was raining. But it was, it had subsided enough to where we could actually play. Mm-hmm. But I mean, That's you cool. can go back and look at the pictures. You can just see everybody in their little rain coats. I was in my and little rain hat. Yeah, yes. Sure. And I mean, I got five songs because it did rain for part of the set that I was supposed to get. And I remember we're all like busting our butts trying to get everything up there and ready and started and plugged in. Mm-hmm. I actually have a video uh, <laughs> that I'm posting this week of you can see me plugging in all this stuff to our sound system. And the video person is saying something like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, we're trying to get this set up. Everybody's, you know, working as a team and we're, you know. And so I remember we started and I thought, like, is there going to be nobody out there? You know, because <laughs> yeah. it's raining. This is the first show of today. 
And within five seconds, there's a hundred people out there. Nice. Because they were so ready for music. That's yeah. what they came there for, yeah. you know? And so they were as rowdy as I was, <laughs> you know, because I'd been waiting all weekend for this. <laughs> and the five songs that I got, I mean, we just, we freaking rocked the house down. It was so fun. And uh, I remember just being on cloud nine yeah. as I was walking off being like, man, like that happened. We did it. And it was awesome. Um, so Biggest Texas was amazing. The crazy part during that was that um, the week before we were in Virginia and Alabama playing shows. And uh, we got a call as we're about to play the show in Alabama uh, from my brother saying, hey, the house is flooding. Like, what do we do? Oh, no. What? Yes. Yeah. So we had to get my mom on a plane to fly back while we play the show in Alabama. And then we had to continue to Virginia the next day yeah. and play another show, uh, which was the coolest thing ever. I mean, was everybody the there. Flooded? Huh? Was the house flooded? Yes. It was flooded. Uh, there's, we had to get a bunch of people to help just come like gut out the you know all the stuff in the bottom mm -hmm. we were all living upstairs for wow. a while and um we actually that can be cool the, that all coming together not with not four yeah. people yeah. Yeah. <laughs> four <laughs> grown <laughs> people yeah. we're like bonding you know it's like camping <laughs> it's like let's come together everybody let's have a movie night wow. we'll yeah for like three months <laughs> help <Man. laughs> that's a long camping trip yes yeah. it was <laughs> so it was a wild experience. So during Biggest Texas, we were dealing with all of that. Oh, wow. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the rain again happened that weekend. Mm -hmm. And so not only did our house flood and trees falling, whatever, the next weekend during Biggest Texas, uh, the concrete like collapsed oh, gosh. On, in our driveway on top of our main water line. What? On our side. So we're just yeah. like... God, what are you, yeah. what are you yeah. doing? You know, like this is supposed to be the biggest show of, of my career to date. And all this stuff is going on. It was like, what, you know, is this, you trying to tell us something? Like we need to fix something <laughs> like, you know, for the water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it was one of the coolest things ever to see how many people were just like, Hey, uh, we don't know all that's going on, but we feel like we're supposed to help you. And so random people would just show up and start helping and, like, doing all this different stuff that they knew how to do that we didn't, you know, to fix it. Yeah, that's and, awesome. um, cool. yeah. it was just a great time to just remind us how loved we are and that we're taken care of, you know, and we're doing we're doing what we're meant to be doing. He's looking after you, that's for yeah. sure. Yes. I, uh, you know, I, I, I remember, in, uh, I think it was Harvey. People kept coming up from the local Walden Church there, and they were bringing us lunch every day. And I was like, you know, we're all right. You know, we're, we're okay. I don't even go to your church. And she's like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, here's your lunch. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't take off. I'm like, all right, all right. I just wanted to be forthright. You know, yeah. I mean, I thank you. Well, I've been to that church probably a dozen times since then. Yeah. And, and outside of my church, and, you know, just because it's – convenient and now i consider it you know i didn't yeah. consider it before i wouldn't even stop you know i wouldn't even think about it you know i'm just going to the catholic church i'm beelining no matter what if you can't make it there you're not going to church you know yeah and that was it you know and and so now it's like oh we're running late let's just go to walden church you know we've done that many times since then so i think it yeah. all has purpose and, and and all has good reason but why don't why don't you um tell us a little bit about our play looking for rain because i know you're not <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no, I, is that, is that where the song came from? <laughs> yes. <laughs> At one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Tell us about it. Um, so this song, if you listen to all the other ones on the album that's come out so far, they're like rock and roll, they're country rock, like they're more high energy, and um, one of them also is called Backroads, and that one's more sweet and country, like pretty, you know, like you're getting like a very well-rounded um kind of look at what we've been doing and what we're working on and who i am as an artist mm -hmm. and so this one i think really i don't want to say completes it but in a sense it does uh because it's more of like an americana vibe more softer prettier vocally like harmonies um it's really cool so All let's right. play it for you guys <clears throat> look for rain <clears throat> With your eyes like the bluest waters 
that go on for days flooding my life and washing the heartache away the hurts of the past now forgotten for a love that's brand new I was looking for rain when I found you Last week I left Tulsa looking for rain Searching the heavens for showers to wash on my pain Love left me dried up and withered when it was through I was looking They go over days Flooding my life and washing the heartache away The hurts of the past now forgotten For a love that's brand new I was looking for rain When I found Looking for rain Searching for clouds And hoping they'd find me again My heart was beat up and broken Was all they done knew I was looking for rain With your eyes like the bluest waters that go over days Flooding my life and washing the heartache away The hurts of the past now forgotten for a love that's brand new I was looking for rain when I found you. I was looking for rain when I found you. Last week I left Tulsa looking for rain. Good. Thank that you. was really good. I can't and wait to know the words. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You got your bulletproof guitar, Jesse. Tell me about that guitar real quick. This is a rain song guitar. The company is actually out of business. This guitar is going to be worth a lot down the road. <laughs> but this is a carbon fiber model guitar and is the only carbon fiber model with actual wood underneath the front right there. And that so it gives a good yeah. deeper sound Great in sound, it. Yeah. It's beautiful, like you said earlier. It's beautiful. You see it in the lights. Real pretty look. Yeah. 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 That's fabulous. I like the pattern in the back is like mm -hmm. super cool. So definitely unique. I, I I love it. I could hear the sound. It, it was deeper, like you said. It, it's yeah. nice. I don't know. I, I always think this this studio does it. You know, it's got real good acoustics in here. Oh yeah. This uh, concrete walls and and this one is real good for the Texas summers. Like when we started yeah. traveling around, I have the Gibson Songwriter. Yeah. It's a wood guitar, but when we go to Lukenbach, it's 120 degrees. We get there and I've got to tune it constantly <laughs> because it's you it's know the, the heat, wood. Yeah. This right yeah. here. No, hardly ever have to tune in at all. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, Great that's song. Cool. Thank you. What's that on the fret? The shark? Yeah, it got sharks. <laughs> oh, <there's a> shark. <laughs> I like that's that. nice. I do like it. It's real Gulf Coast. It, it, it brings out, I think. 
I was noticing that before. Uh, Greg New- Norman, w- w- the golfer, right? Yeah. Greg Norman. Very white shark. I yeah. thought of him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Gulf Coast, perfect blend. And then I thought of Greg Norman for some reason. I, I don't know. That was just, just the shark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, so you've got some dates coming up. Tell me, tell yeah. us about some of the current upcoming dates that you got yes. here for us to catch. So uh, here, obviously, the um, table at Maidley, September 6th for the album release. Everybody... Go ahead and get your tickets now. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we also have August 24th, I'll be opening for Deanna Carter. Um, Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I am so, 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 so excited because that's one of my songs I used to sing just starting out whenever I was playing, like, three-hour shows. Which one? Um, Strawberry Wine. Strawberry Wine. Um, That's something I'd play whenever I was, like, literally just starting out. Where is this at? uh, This is going to be at The Post at Orange Grove. Um, which is over near Corpus Christi. So that's right. That was gonna be a lot of fun. Well, you know, for all the folks not going to Orange Grove or gonna be at the Post in Corpus Christi, you can always go to the Free Citizens concert that you couldn't oh, make because yeah. you're going to see Diana going to play with Diana, Diana Carter. Too. That that made sense. I was good with that. I felt all right. It wasn't about me. <laughs> but she'll be here on, on September sixth. <laughs> yes. You can yeah. also catch you on the thirtieth at uh, twenty nine twenty Roadhouse. Yes. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. That's close yes. enough. I can drive there. On August thirtieth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, 29, 20 Roadhouse. For all my Austin people, I'll be at the Rock House Bar and Trailer Park. Um, I want to say that's September 20th. And if you've never been there, it is super cool. It's right? awesome. It it's is. a new place. And I mean, Great vibe. they have like a sand volleyball court behind the stage and Very cool. picnic tables, food trucks. So let me ask you this. When you, when you go to one of these sets, I mean, there are eight albums in the song. I think I've, I'm fo- on the, I've eight songs on the album, and I think I've heard three or four of them. Yes. You know, maybe more. I, I wouldn't really know. This is the fourth you know one we mean? just played for you. Okay. So, uh, Red Blood American, uh, Looking for Rain. Uh, I've Had Enough. Back Roads. And yes. I've Had Enough. Okay. And so, um, when, you're, when you're on a set, uh, a set uh, you know, you're at a gig, it's like 2920 Roadhouse. I mean, how many songs do you think you play while you're there? It depends if it's a 90 or an hour set, but for a 90, we play about 20 songs. Okay. Um, but we do add little flavorful things to you each song. You do some song. fiery covers, too. I, I, oh, and yeah. I know that they're all the artists don't like to play covers. But I think, like, we do I mean, mashups, you know? Yeah. Like, Ooh, I like uh, that. there's an original song we mash it up at the end with Before He Cheats by Carrie Underwood. Nice. Just because yeah. everybody's in there going, dang, I like her original song. And then all of a sudden you throw that in there and they're like, oh my. I know this one, you know? <laughs> you knew it, half of it. Yeah. <laughs> it and gives them a chance to, like, really be connected with you and, like, see what you can yeah. do that they know and, you know. You, yeah. yeah. And then because of the connection with Parker, we do a Parker mashup of some of his, like, nice. original songs. Like, really cool. I think, I think it's just cool that, that, you know, you just, their interest in mind sometimes, you know, and partially. Because, I mean, there, there's a group in there that came to see Kate Watson. You know, they're about your interest you know and it not necessarily i didn't come here for the food i didn't come here for this terrible place i came to listen to kate watson <laughs> you know or, I, or vice versa you right. know you never know i didn't come here for that girl i came here for the food you know they got a great yeah. mac and cheese here you know and, and then all of a sudden you get some kate watson on the side and it's like wow all right well yeah dinner and a show you know and it's like you're the benefactor of it you know unknowingly you know and it just happened you know and, yeah and so i never know who to i would i wouldn't know who to play for i mean which which because they're totally up north and south, you know. I, I right. Well, I mean, you just play, you yeah. show what you can do. And yeah. if you are you on that stage, ultimately, they're either going to love you or they're going to move on. But from what I've found, I've had so many people come up to me after a show and say, you know, I don't really like country, but man, I loved your show. Yeah. Like in your songs, <laughs> like you have a new fan, you know. And that to me is like so exciting because I'm like, yes, like. I don't want to just draw from this one little vein of it. Like, I want to expand and bring in all of these people because ultimately that's why I started music is to bring people in and say, hey, like, you're my crowd. You're my friends. And, like, <laughs> we're going to have a party up in here. Like, we're just going to have fun you together. You in New York? No, but I would like to. Well, uh, man, I'd like to see you play there. You know, I always feel like, you know, that, that the more true country, and, and I don't know if people in Texas are all like, oh, I really country. <laughs> well, yeah, go to New York. You're you're super country. Trust For me, sure. they'll put they'll yeah. let you know when you get there. 
<laughs> Man, you got an accent. What? <laughs> oh my what? gosh. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we don't call them critters around here. Those are those are rats. Yeah. <laughs> what is y'all? What is y'all? Yeah, About to. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and so I, I think that, that um, you know, you look at a, a nation with thousands of country stations, you know, all right. across the whole U.S. And, and then people just automatically turn a dial rather than to, but yet they all want to be a little more Texan. I think everybody does. I think that we're the totally. envy of the nation, mm-hmm. you know. Everybody's and, and coming here. I never yeah, felt I more so like that than, I, you know, I, living, I think I'm, I'm a sixth generation Texan and, and living here my whole life. I've never really felt more uh, as the state was admired as it is now. Now, and, for and, sure. and I feel like uh, it's a great opportunity for an artist to represent us and across the United States yeah. and different places and, and to really bring that, that sound and, and, and to, you know, to transcend from country americana to the american you wanted to be right. you know and and I, I think there's a lot of that and there's a lot of truth to that and because I, I think there's a lot of core values in it yes and all of the above and um and and so you have a song called red-blooded american the title song for this album that, yes. that i'd love to hear a little bit of mm-hmm. all right y'all you don't get the whole thing but we're going to give you a piece um but you guys can go find the full thing on youtube uh kate watson music This one's Red-Blooded American. so great okay uh so uh we could see you uh for your at the table at medley for the album release on september yes. 6th august 30th 2920 roadhouse you can catch her there and man if you're if you're feeling strong head out to, to orange okay. grove down there in, near corpus uh, august 24th with diana car De- deanna deanna, deanna carter mm-hmm. uh, you can catch her out there and um catch all the shows catch her on youtube just get the link down below we'll share that out there and we'll share your time with us here today and i'm so grateful you made it thank y'all for having us us. thank you for having us thank you jesse i appreciate you coming all right we'll be back right after this long star radio on my mind so won't you kick your feet up if you have a minute turn your radio dial to the texas ticket Car Enthusiast of Conroe, well, FM 104.5 and 106.1 Lone Star Community Radio invites you to shift into gear every Monday from 1 to 2 with Cruising Car Club Talk with Robert and Randy for news on all things automotive in the greater Houston Conroe area. Can't make a live show? We've got you covered. You can find all of our uncut content, including full episodes on Spotify, iTunes, Play Store, YouTube, Facebook, and IRLoneStar.com. Again, that's Mondays 1 to 2, Cruising Car Club Talk with Robert and Randy. See you there. Welcome back to the Texas Ticket. This is Armando and Sherry Hey. What's up? <laughs> Man, Kate Watson killed it. Yeah, well, no, I'd like great. To, I'd like to welcome to the studio our guest from 369 Wellness, Casey and, and Kikito. Welcome. Welcome yeah. to the show, you guys. Thank you. Great to be here. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for having us here today on this great Friday. Oh, I'm so glad you made it. Um, and you guys have uh, taken over or re, um, restructured that's where Serenity uh, re- venue used to be. Uh, and it's now the 369 venue? 
Yeah, so I, I wouldn't uh, say too much the word structure. Uh, we're we're uh, aligning okay. with what's already there, which is Agape Church. Uh, a lot of people in this community are familiar with, with Agape Church. Agape? So, Agape, yes. Okay. And um, we are a 369 Wellness Center. Uh, we're an international spiritual wellness center. And here in a little bit, we'll get to find out and get to share with this community what, what we're doing. Uh, but the main thing is who we are, uh, and who we are, uh, it's a spiritual, uh, and we'll talk more about that, what, what, we, what we're doing with okay. wellness. Okay, and, and you, you do a lot of mind, body, and soul, and, 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 and different st strategies, and, and is it <clears throat> medical wellness, or just all the above? Uh, I would say all of the above, because when you're talking about mind, body, and soul, medical starts from your thought process. And that's some of the modality and the main thing that we're talking here. Uh, okay. So we uh, involve everything, everything there is to know and care of the human body. Uh, so the modalities and, and some of the things that we want to uh, express to the public uh, is to come out and see and feel uh, who we are feel who we are yeah. uh, because we could sit here all day and I can explain and tell you over the radio or show you on TV or my monitor uh, any type of programming but I think the best thing I know that the best thing would be for you guys to come out and actually feel the energy and what we're doing out there. Is there an opportunity to do that? Yes so uh, we had one earlier today every Friday uh, we'll give you the address here. You got one at four o'clock right? Yes. We're yes. coming up so yes. I, I, this show airs at one it'll end it, they'll, they'll be done with us by two. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. they'll, they'll be able to head over there after this. Okay, well, um, actually, it'll be best for next Friday. We're going to uh, make sure we'll start doing them from every Friday from 9 to 3. We'll have, our, to three. Our, okay. uh, and, uh, we'll have our local doctors to start telling you what we're doing. Is, uh, uh, what we're doing is we use all types of uh, care, uh, but we're mainly focusing, and, and just for a lack of word, uh, we're using Eastern medicine as opposed to Western medication. Uh, we do combine because we don't think one's better than, than the other. There's no right or wrong here. It's just maturity and evolve. That's what we're talking about. Um, <clears throat> so uh, myself uh, and Casey, we are husband and wife, and we are doing an international, uh, I would say, spiritual walk. As a soldier, as a veteran, uh, 2015, 2014, around that area, uh, uh, time here on earth, I was uh, diagnosed with cancer. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> so I was told uh, it was prostate cancer, mm -hmm. uh, and it was to spread, and it was like the worst. And uh, back then, I was battling with PTSD, so uh, it made things worse. I was given uh, about 18 months to live. Wow. Uh, so... <clears throat> A branch? We, uh, Army. Army. It's artillery. Okay. Sure. Uh, and we'll talk more on that with soldiers because that's this community is very dear to soldiers. I've noticed that. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I've looked around. I drove around. Uh, and this is the calling for us. This is the, yeah. uh, I call it the sacred land and what we're doing. Uh, and I believe we're going to build the, the right energy to uh, one day uh, soon people around the world will look back and say, Conroe, Conroe. Conroe, this is where it started. And you got a great yoga. Like, I, I saw the lady online. Mm -hmm. she's, she's yeah, just cool people. I could tell. And, and uh, you got Roberto Lara over there. Yes, also yes. cool people. Yes, and we've uh, we like to say we have the best of the best, uh, best doctors in the area, and we can see a line of doctors because even though we're mentioning this is all holistic, mind, body, and soul. It's not just what you eat, what you put in your body. It's a, it's big on thought process. Uh, so who, who would be the top recommend to come visit with you guys? Like, I mean, if you were like just to <laughs> randomly pick, I mean, obviously with prostate cancer and PTSD mm -hmm. and, you know, you're still here, you know, yeah. and I, 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 you know, there, there, there's probably a lot of folks in that line that, that would be interested just because of that alone. Yeah. But um, who would you recommend as a good fit for the community? Uh, I think we have about eight, bil eight billion bodies to pull from. So... <laughs> Pick the, out of those eight billion, they'll come to us. Because, there's something for everyone. Yeah, yeah. literally, okay. there's something for everyone. There's uh, anything from um, your foot detox to uh, red light therapy, ozone therapies, uh, connecting mind, body, and soul in any type of way, in any modality that that comes with that. 
um, there's somebody for everybody and we know that there's people out there searching and um, looking for alternative routes other than um, you know just take a pill and, and get over it um, we like to not only help our people physically but also to counsel them and to uh, have them change their mind and open their mind uh, to to maybe not just the physical ailments that they're having but maybe where they're coming from and how their emotions and thought process also affects all those things sure yeah, yeah you can carry a lot of baggage I mean, I spent 20 years in the medical field, so I'm very curious to hear how some nice. of these things were are used. Yes. Um, I definitely like holistic medicine. Yeah. Um, I used to sell devices that used uh, electricity to trick your brain yes. instead of pain medication. Yeah. Uh, so I, I definitely like the holistic version. I have a similar experience. Yeah. I, yeah. I make a cocktail for just about everything. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. That I, believe, that I believe will truly make it. Yeah. Like a, 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 a little tea, lemon juice, honey. Grand Meunier, mm -hmm. cold remedy. Nice. You know, a little, maybe a little ginger if you have it. No need yeah. to if you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Raw garlic. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I mean, we got our own ways. And, and, and you know, I, I've really been into uh, plants that are helpful, uh, uh, some from different uh, garden variety, from, you know, garden lettuce and, you know, the uh, other plants that are, you know, from pain to cures to, you know, things like that. And, I, I've been trying to get sugar out of my diet because it's just so bad for the skin. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. Uh, and, and so I've been trying to find natural sweet ways to do that that are like saccharin because I don't really consider that a natural <laughs> yeah. alternative. Honey. Try honey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't go my coffee. Do you put honey yeah. in your coffee? How do you get your coffee sweet? We don't, we do don't drink coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, so That'll be a tough one. So to that <laughs> statement, I, I believe that the, the best way of getting something out of your body is not putting it in there in the first place. Uh, so, uh, but we are, these wellness centers are, are being built uh, because uh, not because we know the future, but we can feel the future. Uh, and some of us in this room can benefit from it, even myself. And we know people that are going to need it. And not just, uh, we're not a, a, a religious group, again, because there's 8 billion people. And uh, we don't want to separate uh, the human uh, energy by 2.5 billion believing this. And two, no, we're all, it's, it's the same. Uh, mind, body, and soul. So this this is where we're going. Everybody's welcome. Uh, we don't think any any way is better than another. But one thing I do know is that uh, out of the eight billion people, all of them, all of them know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. So is it something where you have to make an appointment, like a regular doctor's? You know, how do, how do they how do they come to you? Or right now we are open from nine to three on Fridays. Okay. And. Uh, <clears throat> But we take appointments throughout the week, mm -hmm. and if there's something that you need something right now, we have a lot of uh, different doctors, practitioners, and uh, people on staff that can and meet anybody's needs. So uh, we're kind of we're just starting off with um, this location and uh, getting it started. So right now, Fridays walk-ins nine to three, mm -hmm. and of course we have events every other weekend or at least two weekends out of the month, and um, by appointment. And I'm always on standby i yeah. always answer the phone and direct the call where it needs to go sure. and uh, we also have a team that will place you like if depending on what your uh, desire is or what your ailment or, or whatever it is that you're searching for we have a team that will kind of place you put you in that little category of where you need to be guided to you guys have a website that they can look at we do. It's uh, 369gwc.com uh, or 369globalwellnesscenter.com Yes. Just making sure I put it right in the notes. For <laughs> yeah. You know, our, the interns did. <laughs> uh, so when were you diagnosed? Well, I remember it was 20. Actually, good question. And all your questions are good, but that, that's. Uh, 2013. Yeah. This is why. Uh, and again, every, we don't get into politics, religion, or any of that. Because to me, that's a programmable. As soon as I mention that, you, your mind goes straight to that, what, what is said about that. But I will tell you a history with the uh, VA, and this is one of the main reasons that we're doing this too, uh, was uh, back in 2009, the, the prostate, the way it works is uh, uh, if you don't take care of it and you don't pay attention to it, it's gonna get worse. Uh, because I myself at that age and at that time, 2009, I'm 58 years old right now. Uh, you look great, 58. Thank, thank you, yeah. thank you. Uh, thank God that I'm here for that. 
Uh, yeah. But with that said, back in 2009, I was going to the doctor and I was told uh, I had an injury, a uh, military injury that I hurt my back. And I was told that all these problems are caused through your back. And I kept hearing L5, L5, L5. Uh, so now I'm bringing that because last night I yeah. finally found out what the L5. L5 has a connection with the prostate. Mm -hmm. well, L5, S1. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so back then I didn't know that. And the doctors uh, that were treating me didn't know that. And I can say oh. that because they didn't tell me. Uh, so I waited too long, from 2009 to 2014 or 15, till my wife, uh, thank God for that too, <laughs> because uh, yeah. she's the one that made me go. She's the one that made me uh, do everything. Uh, <clears throat> so with that said, that's when I found out what was going on. I left the VA uh, with the benefits that I was getting. I was willing to tur turn all that over to them because I knew that to me was more important uh, to be here on earth and to be receiving uh, a monthly check for what had happened, what, what happened to me. Uh, oh, how is that uh, a problem? I mean, what, if you got better, you wouldn't get your benefits anymore? Well, we won't get into all this. Uh, <laughs> like, what are they going to take it away? That, that, you know, you live? Well, yeah. and, and, the VA uh, is very political. I, I will say this. Is I don't get into to all that. I'm saying uh, yeah, as yeah. to what happened to me. I sure, don't sure. Know, I, I can say uh, my truth. Uh, so, uh, and I'm, I'm very, the, the VA is, if they're helping soldiers. So yeah. I, I want that. If anybody, that's my thing, and I'm working with them, and they're working with us. So okay. I don't mean to say that anything. I'm just telling you what happened. You asked it, I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with that said, uh, the prostate and what, what our main goal right now is, uh, not to get off topic with the VA, is to, to have a place where soldiers, brothers and sisters uh, can come out and if they choose to do a holistic care, then they have a place. They're yep. not mandated to, in order to, uh, to, to follow their, their direction. Uh, we're, we're bringing them along as their part of their care. Because okay, so the patient you, has to be a part of the care. Well, sure. Uh, yeah. And I wasn't a part of the care. Of nine. And this is not, this, this podcast, this radio wasn't about just to come to talk about what happened to me. But we have to know because this, this is where the wellness center started. This is where it well, is. Sure. And I have a lot of brothers and sisters that have other wellness centers. Uh, and when you get something like this that comes uh, from the heart, then it, it needs to keep going. Yeah, uh, so. and clearly the the work's helping. I mean, you're you're oh, still yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you live in proof, and and yeah. I'm sure you have other um, <clears throat> members and and clients, patients that that, that, that have seen these kind of uh, results. Yes, and that that's our that's our a big call to local here, three six nine, uh, and we're trying. We are going to uh, make it to where all soldiers can come, whether they're uh, funded by the VA or funded by three six nine. One of the big projects that we're having is we're making, uh, we're building uh, a farmer's market ran by uh, veterans. And also I'm including, or we're including 369 school first responders. First responders to me uh, are, most of them are ex-veterans uh, mm -hmm. uh, because sure. they, they've been to war. To me, first, resp re first responders are always in the active war. Yeah. They are. They don't have a VA. No. Yeah. Who's taking care of them? Yeah, and that was one of my next questions. So does 369, you know, HMO or PPO or, you know, uh, how, how, uh, how do we uh, um, account for uh, Right now work? what we're doing is uh, we have uh, several different businesses that uh, we're blessed to be able to generate for this. Okay. Uh, because, uh, again, I said this is a mission, right? And yeah. We're being powered by that. Sure. So... Uh, that's that's not that's that we're blessed with that, but we are because uh, we're saying uh, for eight billion we are generating more, uh, and that's where the um, different things that we're doing because the money to us, uh, this is not what we're doing and it, it's not it's really not that's going to come. Uh, so we're the question is we want everybody that feels and they're listening and they're aligning what we're saying. Don't let money keep you from coming because. That's not what we're doing, and it'll be there. I'm not going to tell you that it's free, and it, 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 no. I'm going to tell you that if you have faith and you're really working on yourself, there, we have a way for you. 
That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and, and that's very considerate that you've mm-hmm. taken the time to think about the different possible opportunities and folks that come in and their situations. I'm sure they're all independent and individual. And uh, so is the solution. So is the solution, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all of our, um, our, what we have to offer, it's all cost effective. And uh, we are making it our intention not to ever have to turn anyone away for money. And um, there's always a will, there's a way, there's a, a way to trade energy without uh, having to give physical money. Um, you know, we're, our plans are to have community gardens, we'll have bees, horses, there's a way for anyone to come out and, and help in those kind of ways. And uh, also, if you're helping yourself, there's going to be a way and God's going to provide that way. And we, we fully know that because it's happened for us. My friend and if Tim, it happened for he, us, he, it'll happen he, for everyone. He gets close enough to you. He, he starts mm-hmm. saying if his energy's right with you, he can, mm-hmm. he, he, he starts telling you what's on your mind. <laughs> and he's, he's, really, yeah. he's really good at it. <laughs> he's really good at it. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised. He what, what did he guess your birthday or something? He what, guessed... What Two days, uh, one before and one after my birthday. So right, in, I'm right in the middle of where he said my it's energy like was. 24, 26, and you're 25, right? No, 23. And he guessed 21 and 20. 24 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and that was after one second and just kind of yeah. getting feels. And, 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 you know, guys, it sounds like, you know, yeah. but nevertheless, it's just different. I, I, I. And, you know, I'd like to explore so much more of that in different ways and different doses and different amounts and different, you know, uh, to different <coughs> degrees and, and just get familiar and not necessarily that I'm in need of this, mm-hmm. of certain things that, you know, I don't. Maybe you are. You don't even know it. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe some <laughs> detox, you know, that mm-hmm. might be on, in, in yeah. on my, but right now I'm blessed. I'm not suffering any major ailments like prostate cancer or anything like that right now no it just sounds like your pancreas needs to be taken care of <laughs> does it that's where the sugar goes yeah through. yeah <laughs> oh yeah i've been beating that up you know <laughs> it, but i have totally stopped and even my creamers no yeah sugar yeah you'd be creamer. surprised at how much sugar is in everything i just felt yeah. like it was too late when i decided to stop i mean yeah. whatever damage is happening i think i did it all right <laughs> 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 i hurt myself yeah. but lots of sugar i i, I think uh a Long before I'd ever be an alcoholic, uh, I, I'd, be a, be. I'd be a, a diabetic. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd be a three beers and an ice cream sandwich. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's like I don't know. I think I'll have an ice cream sandwich, and, and you know, I don't want to. I don't want to drink anymore. You yeah. know, and it, it, so I, I really never really had that issue. Um, but what do you do for people with uh, addictive habits and, and and this kind of behavior? You know, that that maybe to an, a much higher extreme. Well, it all stems from something, right? So it's a trauma or something that you've already been through and maybe don't realize it. There's always a reason why you're addicted to something. You have these behaviors and it all goes back to things that maybe you don't even remember from your subconscious mind. And that's part of our program is I won't call it a program because that's what we're trying to do is break the program. Uh, but um, services. So, <laughs> it, yeah, so our services, uh, we have you can go deep inside everything is inside of you regardless mm. of where it came from or when it's all inside and there's a way to get it out to have you self-aware that you're first of all addicted to something and then second of all how you can correct it and where it, might, it may have come from so we also have hypnosis eft mm. biofeedback uh, tuning forks there's there's tons of modalities that we can offer <coughs> to help you get all right i'm gonna go there to the now. root of the problem uh, 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 what about <laughs> What about um, some of the other things like, um, you know, erectile dysfunction and um, other kind of uh, oddities inside the human body? We have an answer for that. (laughs) Tell me about that. Uh, We have a doctor that uses the Eurowave uh, technology, and um, it's just amazing. He specializes in erectile dysfunction, and uh, it's a machine that basically he puts on the area and it doesn't have to be just erectile dysfunction. It can be on a, um, an athlete's knee or shoulder or mm-hmm. anything. And it just regenerates those cells by frequency. What? Mm-hmm. There's so many things. Um, yeah. So many things. So many I, I things, need to have yeah. a, a crazy solution, for it, you know, or, and, I, and I call it crazy just cause it's not the norm. Right. Yeah. So crazy is probably not the right word. Uh, that, that's yeah. your body is crazy. And the, the yeah. fact that we put drugs in it just to heal something, then it'll cause something else. is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, cause I'm not ready to part with 
coffee, and oh. some people call that a drug. It is a drug. It is. I don't want to yeah. hear that kind of talk at this table. <laughs> 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 Everything else is fine. Just leave the coffee alone for now. We're going to talk about that later. I used, to <laughs> I used to sell a device that would use nitrous oxide, which is like ice, mm -hmm. to freeze nerves. So that it would Ow. no, it doesn't yeah. hurt at all. But it will like they would do it before surgery, so that yeah. after surgery they wouldn't have to take pain pills. Yeah, because it's all used dead ice. There. Yeah. Yes. So well, not dead. No, because it comes back. Oh, it does it, thaw. Yeah. Okay. But three months. So uh, <laughs> I would really uh, thank you for for having us, and I, I feel like I need to keep uh, speaking with the the audience and know the audience because I know that there's a lot of them that are. Uh, focusing in and they're tuning in with us because the ones that are tuning in need to know that uh, uh, this is a big, this is big, this is big. This is not just uh, somebody just trying to put something together. This is already built and it's there. This is why. It's a huge facility. You got a big place. It's, uh, 25 acres. Mm -hmm. 25 wow. acres. 25 uh, acres. But that's just the land itself. When I'm talking about yeah. big, I'm talking about the consciousness of, of what we're drawing. Uh, we're getting a lot of the doctors uh, because I, I understand that some people need to see something on the wall behind sure. the person that's talking to them uh, because they're paying attention more to what's on that wall than what the, the man or woman in front of them is telling them. So we have those two. We have we understand that it takes uh, understanding to cross over from uh, taking the uh, what was I taking. Uh, all the medication. Oh, Probably gabapentin gosh. and yeah. all kinds of stuff. I'm sure. It was hydrocodone, yeah. Ambien, um, <laughs> yeah. bags and bags. Mm -hmm. And uh, they would prescribe yeah. them antidepressants and one thing yep. one thing after the other and, like there uh, was endless and we had bags and bags of these that would just be mailed to us every month and here yeah. take this, take this, take this. And I, I, I was never an addict uh, then I understand how that works. I worked 20 something years uh, for a drug rehab program. Uh, for those of you guys who are trying to search, uh, it is a past life, but you come to the office, I can tell you exactly where. Uh, I don't say is this out of ego. I tell you this because everything that you see is going on in the center. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vision, it's a mission. It's out of experience. Uh, so we do prostate cancer, I've had that. We do, we work with homelessness, I've been there everything autistic i've been through that mm. everything that we're doing is out of experience uh, and the doctors that are coming they're aligning with everything we're doing we haven't had doctors that come in and say i don't understand so uh i want everybody to know that it starts uh, and and the reason the food and everything is coming in because it's you when it all comes down to it it's you everything that's going on with your body medically and everything is you is it the doctor uh, and this is not to talk negative. I have to tell you that whoever tells you how to take care of your body, uh, listen, listen to your gut, listen to your gut and to what they're saying, because it all starts with you, what you eat and what you think. Yeah. And and you know we've we've just recently had a, a, a few different doctors on the show that mm -hmm. have come through, and uh, the it seems like all the younger doctors, and I'll not mention names, but mm -hmm. all the younger doctors are 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 mentioning. My body, mind, and spirit. Yes. You know, and uh, they, yeah. it's been brought up a few times in their in their young yeah. practice and their their new practices here in yeah. the Conroe area. And I, it's what they, I I I don't know how anybody could think that it doesn't. You know, and I yeah. I think anybody with any tour of duty as far as medicine goes, being yeah. on the pill receiving end of things, you know, doesn't agree with you. I I, yeah. I think they're all like, yeah, there's got to be another way. I yeah. feel like you anybody know. who's watched a recent Netflix documentary. Yes. <laughs> yeah, about all, all the drugs. They're, they're definitely thinking yeah. these the, these processes yes. and 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 you know from digging up plants in the backyard in the garden and, yes. and to to making your own ginger teas and mm -hmm. yes. you know we embellish and make fun and throw some make her scram and yay in it you know but you know the reality is that that I, I think that all still plays into the the open-mindedness and 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 that i'm an amateur you know i don't know what i'm doing but i kind of do you know i know a little bit you know i got a book you know or so so tell me when when we uh, you know i know indian medicine things like mm -hmm. uh that have been practiced for years they just walk out in the yard pull a few leaves off the tree and mm -hmm. crush it up and i make my tea and then i'm Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm solving erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. you know, or I'm, I'm solving, you know, uh, my mood enhancement or I'm, I'm, I'm bettering my my awareness and alertness, you know, by making just teas in my, from my garden that they've been doing since 
you know, dawn of time, mm-hmm. you know, um, so where, where do you, uh, get or originate most of your, your, I guess, practice and, and, and what you imply you, know, you, you implement there at the, as far as treatment, mm-hmm. okay, right now each doctor is implementing their own, so oh, it, it okay. would depend on your, we're, we don't have anything uh, special per se that's going to just knock your regular doctor. What we're doing is taking the, uh, the medicine away. So if you take that pill away from your doctor, what is he doing different than what we're proposing? That's what you have to ask yourself. Okay. Uh, so if the question is asked to uh, what uh, education do we have behind it, we have experience. Uh, and uh, we're bringing the doctors that have what you need to see behind the, uh, uh, for the insurance. Uh, one thing uh, I'm learning is there's no, uh, there's no money in curing people. No. So with that, <laughs> uh, I understand that. So it, bringing the doctors that we're bringing in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the young doctors who are already conscious that they, or the older doctors who the conscious is coming, is getting them, is making them sick. So we're actually working on doctors themselves uh, because of the conscious of what they've done for 20 and 30 years. Uh, and that's okay, that's okay, because it's out of ignorance and we know as humans what we're supposed to do with ignorant people like myself is forgive us. A lot of our um, background, uh, we trace back his roots, and he's from the Ambera Indian tribe and our indigenous tribe in Panama. So that was where a lot of our uh, thoughts and, and guidance originated from. However, we've also um, partnered up with, uh, you know, our partners with Agape Church and Roberto, and um, it's evolved into so much more with the Aztecs, the Cherokees. That's where a lot of the knowledge and the guidance comes from. Mm-hmm. Uh, our doctors also have. Um, degrees if you will I don't know how you, yeah. I guess from uh, with Chinese medicine mm-hmm. so that's where all uh, like the plant medicine and um, the the herbs the extracting the herbs making the supplements that's where a lot mm-hmm. of that that education comes from and, and cool. so a lot of these doctors have like again you have the University of Arizona we have different just come out and see what we have mm-hmm. uh, so what you're getting today uh, on this lovely Friday afternoon mm-hmm. is a perception uh, we want you to come to and see what the reality is. And every Friday you got an event out there. And, and, and yes. I know that uh, you can come and be a vendor or you can come and just be a showgoer and a visitor to the, the property and, and to the facility and uh, and check it out. Uh, um, and uh, it, is it always uh, 9 to 3? Fridays right now it's 9 to 3 unless it, there's appointments. Uh, we also have an event coming up on August the 17th from uh, 9 to 1. And it's a vendor event. It's our first uh, market day and uh, we are welcoming vendors and also we want people to come check it out see what we're about and see how we can all share energy like we say this is not our vision this is something that we're being guided sure. to do and uh, we want everybody to come share share what they have to offer as well this is what, what do you think you're being guided to do october 14th october 17th 14th okay. indigenous people day Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You having a big event or a concert? <laughs> I, I saw you got the flute guy. He's amazing. That that guy that plays the flute, I've seen him play several times. Uh, yeah. The wooden one. Day. Yes. He's spectacular. Yeah. I, I've, I've heard him play many times. Yeah. And uh, we were in some drum circle, and he, he chimed in, and it was just went off. I was yeah. like, wow. Yes. <laughs> we just went to another level. I'm like, this is good. We have yeah. amazing talent. <clears throat> the Aztec dancers they come and actually practice on the land and uh, they'll come do um, fabulous perf- yeah. I won't say perform because they're not performing they're just yeah. doing their thing but uh, they're just doing, <laughs> their thing. <laughs> they're just doing their thing it's amazing and there's great energy yeah. um, we always have great energy out there we do uh, sound cool. bass breath yeah. work ceremonies yoga yeah all kinds of things so we just invite everyone out and I promise you there'll be something for you there will yeah. be something for you if there's not we'll, we'll find it we will guide you the yeah. right way we will ask you yeah. to come along and to share your talent with us because that's what it's about is community healing and peace to be honest that's it that's nice. peace uh pieces peace is what we're offering you have to find that within yourself mm-hmm. and i'll close in saying with uh just come and see if you want to do a little research before you come out see how uh what the connection of the human body is with water and sound and uh, vibrations and energy. 
look at research some of that and then come out Friday and that'll kind of help you when you walk in through the doors uh, but remember uh, we're searching peace uh, we get a lot of people with love but you have to have the understanding of love and most people that come through the door uh, they don't have the understanding of love they have what man has described what love is to them mm -hmm. uh, and uh, once you find out what peace is you know what love is, and you don't have to have an understanding or definition from, from man. Uh, and I'll leave that there. So you can find them on Facebook.com slash 369 Wellness, and you also have the website, if you'll tell yes, us that one more time. Yes, it's 369GWC.com or 369GlobalWellnessCenter.com. Okay. And uh, we're always available by phone and by appointment. Tell us that phone number and the address there, and uh, let them know how to... The address is 12244 Serenity Rose Drive in Conroe, and the phone number is 281-939-3576. 3576. And the vendor booths, one more time, if they want to get involved <clears throat> in that effect, is $50. For yes, it's $50 for a 10 by 10 and uh, we are having it outdoors. However, if it does rain or if weather does not permit, we have an indoor arena also that we can fit everyone in, and it'll be the same thing. No, I no stopping to go to the, the one show today. That <laughs> way, I can wander, and then maybe the next Friday I do a vendor booth or something. That way, I mean, I want to look around. I yeah. hate to be stuck in a booth going, God, "What's over there? <laughs> what's over there? That's, that's, you know, what's over there? What are they doing? Yeah. You know, I, God, I feel like I was chained at that booth. That's always me. Exactly. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do that. We we, we got to look for those other ones, and we'll give you a call uh, there, and we'll find you on your website. You had can, something else can, to share? Yeah, I want to sure. add. Yeah, please. I, I want to add one more thing on the people that are coming out uh, for the vendors. Keep in mind that uh, this is somewhat of a uh, rehearsal. And I say that because we want to make sure that the ones that come out, great. But we, we want to know if it's something that aligns with you and, and your mission. We know that uh, you're, you're becoming a vendor because you have a craft that you, you want to share with, i say, humanity. So what this day we're doing is uh, come show us what you have, and hopefully we can start talking about uh, maybe a contract or something that you can stay at that site and uh, move with us. Uh, and we're looking for people at this site, and we said global, so we're looking at other countries, and we're involved with a lot of other stuff that uh, we just, uh, we don't do time, but just come and talk with us, and we'll, we'll guide you through it. Sure, absolutely. And um, folks, we'll be right back with more of the <laughs> Texas Ticket and the Puncher Texas Ticket segment of the show after this. Thanks, guys. Lone Star Radio. Every Friday, tune into Texas Ticket on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 FM with Armando Nino of Go Lake Conroe, focusing on Montgomery County area events and places. Get a feel of the Texas spirit at the event, paired with guest and vendor interviews, event coverage, and ticket giveaways, and so much more. Join us Fridays and punch your Texas ticket. For more information on the show, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Texas Ticket. Lone Star Radio on my mind So won't you kick your feet up if you have a minute Turn your radio dial to the Texas Ticket Welcome back to the and Texas Tickets, Armando and Shree Potts Man, what a show today Yeah, I feel oh, more American I've, I've, I feel different. <laughs> I think I changed. More Texan and American. It changed me. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is the Punch Your <laughs> Texas Ticket segment of the show where we just go over a few things just around the area that Texans could go to uh -oh. and uh, other stuff like that and uh, that make might make you just a little bit more Texan. Yeah. Um, so um, let's just go through some of them. Yes. I'm excited about the free concert. Free concert? Yeah. The, the, the free, free Citizens the free concert? Citizens concert? Free the Citizens of Conroe! Yeah. Yeah, August, August 24th. 24th. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, that's going to be um, Cat Five. Cat Five, wow, she's spectacular. <laughs> and and you know, when you when you when you find all these young artists that are brand new and new to the system, it's like, who in the hell is Cat Five? You oh, know, and yeah. It, yeah, well, come and find out. I'll mm-hmm. tell you, she's worth the trouble, worth the trip. Uh, we also have Reverend Ray McDonald and his full cool band playing out there. Do. And they've got uh, these different groups of the Montgomery Community Band. It's not the Montgomery Community It's MC Band Booster or something like that. Uh, I, I don't want to mix that up, make yeah. a gumbo out of it. But some that classical touch. I mean, I went to the School of Live Music, and it was some operatic y- ukulele <laughs> combo that was in french yeah that was amazing i was like wow i feel like i'm i've been enriched you know like got cultured all of a sudden you know and it it, it was it was texas people you yeah. know doing doing playing music and doing the things that they love and their passions and you know exploring in their own right you know the things that they th- think are of their interest and mm-hmm. she clearly knew exactly what she was good at i mean that uh, I, i'd like to see what she does next uh, <laughs> some really good stuff and uh anyway the free citizens concert's going to be over there at citizens catering uh, over uh at the in front of the wake church there uh across from h-e-b on 105 and 336 mm-hmm. uh what is that address there 3830. Yeah, West Davis. 3830 West Davis. And that's sponsored by True Texas Solar, 777 Travel, Mosquito and Pest Authority, Carl's AC, and Paul the Plumber. (laughs) Paul the Plumber. Paul the Plumber has got those uh, those little squeezy things that are like a plunger and Uh one's a toilet. Uh-huh. Have you seen them? They're no. super popular. Everybody loves them. <laughs> I, I don't care what it meant you're at. You could like everybody move aside. Give me my pl- Did you get a plunger? Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. Yeah, it's like that. Um, anyway, catch them all there. They're going to be out there with a lot of other folks there to um, share what they do. Um, they're um, d- Doctor. Um, I wasn't the, here for her. The uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm throwing a mic. She's going to kill me. Sheridan Bowser, sorry, and I didn't find it. It's not on that page, but Dr. <laughs> Sheridan Bowser, sweet lady, great stuff. And she, she does talk about body, mind, and spirit. It's on her website. And um, we kept asking her about what that was, and, and she just was. No, it's a very true thing. I mean, Yeah, she had a lot of uh, of that kind of stuff. And, and, and uh, just, but I mean, direct, she would tell you exactly where this hurt, where the pressure point is mm-hmm. in the other part of your body, and just for sure. pinch I mean, it I, and I make did, your toes uh, curl. I did x-ray for... 10 years so i know where every bone in your body is it'll get you there huh um and i wanted to get uh (laughs) bring up the uh harbor shores apartments there on walden road you know um it is a a complex in there a little bit it's the only apartment complex in walden and i'm being told that if you put armando nino in your referral box there just just put armando nino as who referred you they they'll waive the application fees down payments deposits make the sunshine 365 days a year and Very let cool. you move in no matter what's going on and i don't know if that's the case uh, yeah every they'll day will you be, move in every day will be christmas i don't care <laughs> yeah. just, get, just tell no, armando nino i don't work right. for them i'm not employed for those people nor is this a paid ad but, <laughs> but if you don't put my name down there you'll never know on the referral there bike go. there. You just put that down there. Harbor Shore Apartments on Walden Road. You can call them at 936-246-2472. Referral code will be Armando Nino. Is that with one N or two? That's with one N. N-I-N-O. <laughs> Does it have an N-O. N-O. N-Y. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You don't have to put that down there for cash and prizes. Don't uh, do not do that for cash and prizes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, I... Kid zone, pet zone, celebrity dog is going to be at this uh, oh, Free right. Citizens concert. Car show in the morning. It goes on and on. And it goes from 10 to 6. You can come out there early, catch all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Save and Able and uh, Special Guest Silverleaf will be September 27th on Pruitt Road over in Spring, Texas. They're going to be at the Sawyer Park Ice House. Um, August 11th I'm coming up this Sunday. This. Limp Biscuit. Yeah. They're going to be over at Cynthia I Mitchell Woods Limp Pavilion. Biscuit. Yeah, I was pretty excited. I, I Somebody was opening for him. Man, I meant to write that note down. Um, I don't know. It's like Sammy Hagar and Loverboy are together. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Sammy Hagar is coming, I think, next month with uh, uh, Loverboy opening Very for him. Very cool. But, and that's super cool. But, you know, the two never played together. They were like no, 20 years apart, 20, 10, 15 years apart. I feel apart. like you look, if you like one, you like the other. Yeah, they're all good now. <laughs> yeah. It's starting to come together. Um, what else do we got? Uh Community Wellness Day for our friends, our new yes. friends, uh, at 369. Don't be lying. I don't think 
think that's time. the right 369. Yeah, low. <laughs> Global Wellness, 369 Global Wellness Community Wellness Day, Agape for Mind, for Soul, Mind, and Body. That's uh, August 9th, Friday, today, August 9th. And, and again, on Friday, August 16th. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to do that every Friday after that. Let's see what they're talking about. You know Nine what I mean? 9 to 3, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to know a little bit more about that. 9 to 3. Um, so... I saw this and it said rock out with Def Leppard at do si do And then you reread it. <laughs> and then I ran out and I quit looking at the pictures, you know, and it said uh, the big barn on August 31st, right there on I-45 in the Woodlands, uh, August 31st, 630. It is a um, Def Leppard tribute band, the premier Def Leppard tribute band. Uh, we'll take the stage at do si do the big barn, August 31st. Yes. I'm excited because my friend is coming back to the Ice House, Conroe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The comedian. Jesse Payton. Jesse Payton. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> talked to a comedian today. Oh, he played at Dosey Do. Mm-hmm. What was his name? Uh, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember. But Jesse will be back at the Ice House Conroe on August 15th at 6 p.m. And they it's did Thursday. say that they um, have a covered patio now, so it won't be as hot as it was last time. Or at least the sun not in your eyes. They do. They do. It's a big party tent. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the kind for a massive wedding and uh, maybe some fans and stuff in there go a long way. Yes. And that, that'll be super cool. You can go out and enjoy that and he won't be sweating the whole time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nobody, hopefully. <laughs> no, but it's hot. We it can't is do hot. Much about it is that, hot. You know, and you, you know, I think about all these places with those heat lamps on their patio. Uh, no, they get to use them like twice. Yeah, get a swamp cooler. You can use yeah. that all year. Yeah. You know, one of those little ice chests that you open up. It's got the little vent mm-hmm. on top now. You just put a couple bags of ice in it. It keeps all... They work. I mean, you could put that on the front of your, your establishment, like <laughs> colored TV, air conditioned, yeah, you know, swamp no. cooler. Yes. Yeah, just it's like a, in the old days. That Bring that back. Every yeah. patio. Oh, look, they've got air conditioning. Let's stop. Yeah. Dan and Shay, August 31st, Cynthia Mitchell Woods Pavilion Creed will be uh, uh, at Cynthia Mitchell also. So September 14th. 14th. Yeah. There it is on the other page there. Okay. So um, the Kid Fishing Derby over at Carl Barton what Park. What is this? Carl Barton Park will be having the Kid Fishing Derby. That's at September 14th. Um, I want to see some four-year-old <coughs> fishing. I think that's probably the cutest thing ever. Well, you, can, you can find a little more information <laughs> about that uh, at uh, cityofconroe.org. And that, that thing where Tim Tremier and Roberto uh, Lara went go-kart racing mm-hmm. is right past this place. And uh, yeah. it's at Carl Barton on the uh, 3500 3, South Loop, 336 East. And um, and if you keep going past Carl Barton, of course, we'll hit the, the uh, little go-kart track, the big go-kart track, yeah, Houston no. Raceway or something it's like fun. that. Yeah, super fun. Uh, children's 4 to 16 can participate. It's, free. it's a free event. It'll be held at Carl Barton Park. Uh, participants use their own fishing gear. Uh, limited poles and bait will be available. All fish participants register for the events. Trophies are awarded immediately after. <laughs> Following the event, measure stick around for Kiawana Kids Day in the park from 11 to 2 right after that. Yeah. You can catch that. Lots of fun stuff. That's a whole day. That's uh, fish from, uh, what, 9 to nine to something, and then 11 to 2. <laughs> get the, yeah, 9 to 12, and then 11 to 2, you get the Kiawana uh, uh, Kids Day. Yeah. And who knows what they got in store. I'm well, going to yeah. do it with a trophy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My little brother went to Kiwanis when he was little. Then they get excited. They, they do, really yeah. do. They get fired up about winning the little kid fishing tournaments, and their dads and parents are serious mm-hmm. about them. It's kind of like, you know, those those um, pageantry girls. Well, like Kiwanis is, well, for me, GA camp was a big thing, right? So being the girls in action. So oh, church yeah. camp. So Kiwanis is for the boys, or at least it was. I got that joy, joy, yeah, joy, yeah, yeah. joy. Yeah. Okay, uh, community wide garage sale that's going on October 26th, and you can it, we're bringing it up now because it, registration began August 5th, <laughs> so or begins August 5th. So it's it costs 55 dollars for a 10 by 10 booth space. Uh, you come out community garage sale, hidden treasures, all you want to know. It's going to be at Heritage Place Park right here on Metcalf, right downtown Conroe. Nice. So you do your own big top event. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, there, that's happening. All right. Uh, I want to hear more about this charcuterie festival. Like, mm. I'm, I'm excited about that. That's happening. I love. love yeah, Bernhardt Winery is having the charcuterie festival, and it is a. 
I mean, last time I went there, we were uh, doing media from there. We were reporting the event, oh, uh-huh. and they really rolled out the red carpet for us to make sure we get stayed and yeah. enjoyed ourselves and so much hospitality. Jerry came out, met us, for, met with us for a while, and afterwards we drank right off the tap. I mean, <laughs> you know, the big vat, the the twelve hundred gallon. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're just, you know. At, and just and that went on until it was dark. I mean, long after this event was over, we were playing with the winery dog and drinking different wines. And, you know, next thing you know, we're both just drinking ports. And it's like, you know, we've taken it to another level here. <laughs> People are sweeping up around us. It's like this interview is still going on. I can't believe my camera hasn't died. You know, yeah. it, 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 it was just so comfortable. I was really relaxed and, and just no. Well, after a full day of wine, I guess you would But be. none of that hoity, like <laughs> I have to, you know, it's like if I go tour Silver Oak, I want to stand in line oh, like yeah, I'm on a museum yeah, yeah. tour or something, you know, and it's sure. like I still got a glass of wine. I'm still enjoying myself, but I'm kind of trying to, you know, I want to indulge. I mean, I came here for the purpose of trying all the wines. I, mm-hmm. I get it. I'm mm-hmm. gonna, I might get a little off kilter, you know what I mean? But because <laughs> I wanted to try all of them. If you hadn't been before, it's usually one of the things you want to do is just get a little flavor for all the things you like first and then experiment with some of the things you don't. And, and I would do it in reverse. You know, start out with all the things you don't normally drink. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Try all the stuff, the of sweets, course. the pinks, the the whites, the the ports, and then go into your big red that you really do enjoy there at the end. And, and mm-hmm. you know, and because and some when we went around, there were booths, and it wasn't booths, it was like a circuit, yeah. right? So you start at one machine and you move to the next. Yeah. This was one booth, and they started out with trying you on Sauvignon Blancs, and then you go to the next one. Anyway, that's the whole thing with Charcuterie Festival. And then the, there's a whole room just about the charcuterie portion. That's my favorite. And then the other room is all about the wine portion. So you'd go and, <laughs> and whatever you tasted you liked, you bought, you took, you you, yeah. you know, they give you. And um, like when the chocolate one came, you would automatically, when you got your little band, you were eating and drinking everything. <laughs> I mean, it was all in there. You know, you wouldn't have to like, you know, pay as you go or anything. Yeah. It was like all part of it. Once you're, you're in, you're in. You know, go ahead, take your tour. And you could just keep going. It was like... So fun. It's so cool. If you hadn't been out there, Bernhardt Winery is um, out, out there heading towards Plantersville. It's in Plantersville. It's yeah. on far west side, 105, uh, about maybe 10 minutes out of Montgomery. September 14th. September 14th. 12 to 5 p.m. You do that during the day. The Hullabaloo Festival, we've been talking about it for a while. Uh, that's going to be in historic downtown Bryan. <coughs> Saving Abel. Um Paul Wall. Paul Wall, baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lane Smith, Josh Langston, uh, Hindsight, Million Dollar Red, uh, so much more. Uh, Vision Arcade's going to be there, Liquid Illusions. And that is going on the Labor Day weekend, September yes. 1st. Out yeah. there. All right. And let's see, Deep Purple. Uh, who's opening for Deep Purple? I know that this was the one I wanted to remember. There is a really, man. So <laughs> you got to check Deep, Deep Purple's opening act, right? I, I, I know that was noteworthy. I remember I was like, oh, wow, that's unexpected. Um, and I heard it on the radio, actually, on the way here. And, you know, one of the things I love, live music. Oh, yeah, for man, sure. Man, I don't care. Live music just really makes a difference. Good and, live music. <laughs> I, I, I'm I, optimistic live music. It don't even have to be good for when I get sat down. You know, I mean, I just assume it's all right. I think you can get there. You know, as long as you're optimistic. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. oh, well, I don't need to like every song the man plays. Yeah. I just met him. You know, but then he played a song that oh, I had to go here again. You know what I mean? Oh, that song was the one. You know, mm-hmm. I liked that. Um, and and a lot of folks are like that. I, you know, Jeff Canada did that to me once. Yeah. So, you know, he had a song. Uh, uh, an old flashback song. Uh, I don't know. He played a uh, a flashback song, and it was a cover tune that I hadn't heard in twenty years. I forgot the song existed, and, <laughs> and um, but after he played it, I was a fan. Aww. Yeah, he did it. He was he was really good. Uh, 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 Nate Nelson, speaking to uh, guys with uh, uh, unique talents, and uh, I will be over at Red Brick Trap Tavern every Tuesday for Re- Nick, Nate Nelson Acoustic at Red Brick Tavern. Yeah, yeah. catch him out there. Um, Gatlin Brothers. They'll be at the Big Barn. The Gatlin Brothers at Dosi Do, October 27th at 7.30 p.m. We'll bring that up again when it gets a little closer, give you some more details, because I know there's somebody with them as well. Yeah. Um, uh, the Sunday Jam Session hosted by the Kimbros every Sunday. Sunday, 1 to 6, table at Maylee. And you can call Frank and Company out there at 832-326-2289. Get the details on that, as well as our friend Kate Watson's September event yeah. coming up, the al- the album release show there. September 6th. 6th. Is it 6th? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Um, Bellamy Brothers is going to be in Huntsville uh, August 30th uh, at the Old Town Theater, 6 to 8.30, and catch the Bellamy Brothers. Old Town Theater at 1023 12th Street in Huntsville, Texas. Um, so we got that. Mm -hmm. Bam, bam. Luke Prater is coming back to the Ice House. Luke yeah. Prater, yeah, yeah. September 14th. There's a lot going on on the 14th. There is, right? Yeah. There, there is. Um, and, and, you know, uh, the uh, there's another event. It's a it's a music event. It's at West Sandy Creek Creek. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I got marbles in my mouth today. West Sandy Creek Winery. It's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Frank Martin Gilligan and Joe Gavito, September first. That's a musical entertainment there at the Vineyard. We spent a weekend out there not too long ago. Yeah. Fabulous time. Love the place. And it's so close. It's, And you look on the map, it looks crazy, but it just kind of brings you right back. It's mm -hmm. a 10-minute trip to the San Jose State National Forest. It's it's about the same distance, maybe a little bit more than uh, Bernhardt is, but what a drive. What a nice drive. It's it's, it's, a, be it's a beautiful run. Uh, Conroe Conjuring is at the Owen Theater, and I, I, mm -hmm. I know that they're always changing out the artists. Please check the online to find out exactly what's going on with the Conroe Conjuring. Conroe Conjuring show. They got a lot of different stuff going on down there that uh, I was totally unaware of. Yeah, no, that's great. Signs appeared in the window magically. <laughs> they did. I was looking around and looked back and it was just they there. They conjured up. I was like, wow, <laughs> these people are good. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's amazing. <laughs> um, so you can catch them over at the Owen Theater. And um, guys, I uh, I want to thank 369 Wellness Group for yeah. coming out. And, Kate uh, Watson. And Kate Watson and Jesse. I always get to see Jesse mm -hmm. Watson. I, I, I I don't know. Your daughters could do a lot of things, you know. Yeah. And you know they're over at the Cowboy Church. He uh, works with the ministry there and uh, the music. Uh, well, he works with the music side. He would correct yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> he would correct me if he was sitting in here. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, I think you have some special thanks out. Paul shout the plumber. Out. Did you say Paul Wall? Paul the plumber. Oh, Paul the plumber. Those guys are great. Uh -huh. Paul the plumber. Uh, Carl's AC and heating and cooling and refrigeration. You can call Carl's AC. They're right here in Conroe, right right over uh, a Willis Walk Hagen. <laughs> Willis Walk Hagen. See, I can say that just fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the High Regency Conroe for letting you come out to play today. You can Thank reach them at 936-444-4454. Uh, Gully Conroe, me. Um, let's see. True Texas Solar. Got backup power. Call True Texas Solar. Mm -hmm. and, and we were always talking about with those guys about upgrading your off-grid lifestyle. You know? Yeah. My off-grid lifestyle consists of a lot of extra rice and beans. You know? So what are you doing? Are you a prepper? I'm like, well, I do stock a lot of extra rice beans. <laughs> but you can also be thinking because they do that <laughs> holiday thing where they give away an AC, right? Carl's now. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah they so do. So you can be thinking about who you're going to nominate this year. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. And, and then they're, all of them, I think, are Paul Plummer or Carl's. Like that Woodlands online vote thing. Yeah, yeah. They say that thing's fixed. I don't know. I'm hearing it's tough to beat. The, well, I the, hear they give away more than one, so it may not be fixed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we'd like to see uh, a new AC company get up there on the board instead of the same one for the last 35 <laughs> years since the contest was invented. Okay. Just to, just throw it out there. You know, you can throw it right back. Um, I'd like to also thank... Oh. Chapel. Chapel who? Chapel. Chapel who? Pressure washing. And he just added a new thing to his... What did he add? So he's, I think he's doing Christmas lights or lights, period. Lights, period. Yeah, lighting. Get your Christmas lights ready. Get your property lights. Yeah. that. Chapel pressure washing. Clean your solar panels. All your the boat things. and hole. And uh, <laughs> get all that sprayed up. Call Chapel pressure washing. One call sprays it all. I mean, I don't know if we need to go through all of it. But, you know, one call sprays it all. 936-520-8702. And remember, uh, Daylight Savings Time is November 3rd. Halloween, of course, October 31st. October 14th, and Indigenous People Day. Yeah. Surprised that wasn't all over their radar. I figured we'd, we'd have this big event, you know. <laughs> no. Yeah, and it's September 2nd, Labor Day, and you can join that in Bryan, uh, Bryan, Texas, for the historic Bryan, Texas, for the Hullabaloo Festival. Or I'm sure we'll have some le September uh, 2nd, Labor Day stuff going on here yeah, in town sure. that we'll be able to share. Uh, we'll see you next week here on the Texas Ticket, Lone Star Community Radio. Lone Star.